the 5.7, you're going to need a, a couple of uh, specific items for cleaning the chamber on the PS90. Now, like the 5.7, the, the PS90 will have a lacquer buildup over time in the chamber. Now, gun solvents, parts cleaners, degreasers, they do not do anything to the lacquer. The best thing for the lacquer is Walmart brand carburetor cleaner. Carburetor cleaner is designed to break down lacquer. Uh, something else that's going to be handy to be used is a, about a 9mm 40 caliber uh, chamber brush and then some patches. Uh, the rest of the bore you would just clean out with standard patches uh, and a standard 22 caliber bore brush. So as we have here I previously uh, mentioned uh, Walmart carburetor cleaner, some uh, patches and a bore brush. hope this is turning out pretty good in the light. Alright, so basically here's uh, our PS90 chamber. You're going to take your patches, wrap it around your brush, soak it with carburetor cleaner. And then you're just going to run it around on the inside of the chamber until it comes out clean. As you can tell, this one's not too bad. And as you can see, it's relatively clean. Now, note on the chamber. Uh, as I mentioned uh, uh, earlier, uh, you're going to want to check out the video that I created having to do with the recoil issues with the uh, uh, PS90 about how uh, uh, it's a straight blowback. It's not a delayed blowback. Um, we do polish the chamber on the 5.7 pistol. You do not want to polish the chamber on your PS90 to reduce following. Uh, the issue is, is by polishing the chamber on the PS90, you'll actually allow the shell to extract even easier, creating an even bigger issue with the non-delayed blowback action of the PS90. This is less of an issue with the P90, but this is more PS90 related uh, to the length of the barrel versus the bolt weight and the recoil system in the pistol, in, in, I'm sorry, in the PS90.